Hello everybody, my name is Yurio, and welcome back to another video on the Fractured SMP. This is episode number 8, and in the last episode, I made a very, very interesting deal with a very different person. Now, this deal I'm about to say is a bit different so let me sum it down sum it up for you guys so apparently about a couple days ago uh i decided to take on a task and decided you know what i'm going to be heading over and doing a little thing for dawn which um to collect her I guess alternate selves. So basically with that, um, I took the task and I went and then this fracture of hers, we'll call her order, did a little something interesting. So and convinced me and I convinced her because I'm not the same Erio as you might know. So, I think right now is the best time to show you what I have in store. And this is what I have in store. When did... Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> so, basically, I had a suit made because I'm going to be doing a little election with old order. And I've already made my little suit and tie and everything and to make myself look cool for the election so right around here is to at least get the election started is i'm going to start making my little um office like right around here you can kind of see where i've decided you know what this is where it's going to be i mean this is how it's going to be right here so um it just kind of goes all the way out this way i think it stops off right here i think is that 15 blocks so yeah this is i think where my election office is going to be so um my intentions of this office right here is to kind of kind of look like not symmetrical with this office uh pete says little attorney place but um this is where my little uh where I'm gonna run my campaign for the elections of the server. So um, with this, um, I'm gonna have a, a two-story building and probably made out of terracotta, maybe some bricks, and make it look like a more of a rural USA Midwestern, I guess, uh, like kind of town. I think because I mean I'm in a different area and I've gotten a lot more. Uh, what I say would be um, uh, interest into some of this architecture. So um, it's going to be two stories. I think it's going to be this thick wide and it's probably going to be a white top or like the little inside is going to be a white top. So yeah. And then also another plan is here is that since it's going to be kind of deep here, I'm going to make and like kind of make the terrain kind of fit with itself around here is right here is going to be a little wall and up on the other end is probably where some more buildings can go to kind of make it more seamless with the terrain because you don't want the terrain to be kind of you don't want to remove all this terrain, especially if I were to fly up this direction, because look at how much terrain's all over here. It's pretty much the exact same level. Maybe a bit of variation, but I mean, relatively speaking, right here is like not the best area to be. So yeah, um, what I'm going to be doing right now is doing a little time lapse of building this little uh, electoral office or whatever campaign office right now <laughs> So, 
basically, I got my little uh, campaign office done right here. It actually looks, I think, pretty good. I mean, I think it, it really doesn't fit with Pizza's attorney at law place, but personally, I think I've designed this pretty well. Um, so, I mean, of course, there's this first floor right here with where basically my office will be and maybe campaign manager or some sort. So, or I am the campaign manager, but for now, but I might find someone for that. But also here, there's a receptionist desk. It's directly in the front. And also there's some little waiting seats right here. And also if you look under here, you could see some amethysts. So everywhere where there's a uh, cyan carpet, is where some amethyst so to at least gain a bit of an appeal for people who do want to like let's say walk in here and see oh wow he is actually a pretty interesting guy whenever it comes to that like it sounds real nice in here you know that sort of thing and it's just deception of the eye i think primarily but also um uh real quick <laughs> I think I got a bit out of hand whenever it comes to um, this little area right here. So yeah, I decided to make a wall here to kind of have a little uh, next level right here and some nice or alleyway paths right here as well. So yeah, this is, I just kind of got out of hand and didn't record any time lapse for this, which <laughs> oops. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, this right over here where all this uh, grass is, is basically where it kind of looked kind of funky right here. But now, since it's the next day after uh, the last, like, talk clip, I think it really, really, really is way better now than how it was just a dirt going up and around, which always looks so weird and then also I encase the side and then underneath of course is like some uh of this which I'm gonna definitely have to light up yeah there's zombies here so yeah um now I think what I want to do here is uh go into basically the center here so how far did I do it one block off where I need it to. Oh, wait, hold on. Aha, there we are. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be here, so one block this way. And then what I'm gonna be doing here is, you could see where I wrote Erio there. Um, so um, what I'm planning to do here is make a sign that says vote Erio. To kind of get this all nice and going. So what I'm going to be doing right now is just uh, making the sign. Okay. So um, I basically put this nice, actually pretty good uh, text sign right over here. I mean, it's really visible. I mean, if I were to, I think, head all the way to this little... Um, crafting table tree right over here. I mean, with Distant Horizons, you could still see the text in pretty much full form. You could still make out Boat Eria right there. Um, it's a bit easier whenever you zoom in, but you can definitely make it out. So, yeah. Um, that is real good. So, I think what I need to do now is try and figure out the rest of my campaign. Like, who I'm going to have for vice president. Because, um, well, we know for surely that Order, um, Don, Don's Fracture, has, uh, I mean, we made a little deal of course, to split the server. But after we, I guess, split the server, I think what we gotta do is we need a proper 
uh, vice president in campaign, like help with our campaign. So, um, yeah, I, so actually this is perfect timing right now because of Brian's online. So I'm going to be crying, calling Brian over and, uh, we'll have a little talk. Okay. He should be coming up any second now. Oh, there, there, there <laughs> speaking of Brian. <laughs> um, oh, um, can you follow That's me straight nice. upstairs? Uh -huh. So, um, uh, sit. Oh, oh oops. <laughs> so, I came to ask you to come here to ask you the, I guess, this one very simple question. Um, yeah. would you like to be my campaign's vice president? I mean, I really do not know anything about your campaign or anything, so what's this about? Okay, really? so, I mean, I th there are a couple things I want to do. The first thing is uh, cl uh, cleaning up the server in talking about cleaning up the server like uh making paths more neat making like let's say even the front entrance here um a bit mm. more uh nice looking with the pathway because i mean if you look outside the pathway isn't really too it's terribly too nice good. looking yeah yeah and also um just fixing up little bits of things like oh yeah um but this brings me into the second bit, which is adding little bits of infrastructure and adding infrastructure is like, um, um, extending out the, maybe extending out the shopping district, some sort, you know, something like that. Yeah. I'm planning on building a lot of infrastructure, so that can be interesting. Okay. And kind of the last thing I really want to point out is kind of fixing up disputes. Well, if you look out the window here, you could see a crafting table tree and this is a in a result of a dispute of uh two groups like one who don't like having crafting tables like laying around on a server and one who yeah who doesn't uh, like crafting tables how are the rest are supposed to craft it's the in the name of this game true craft. minecraft yeah so i think uh we could at least help resolve these disputes as well, as you might yeah. like, these disputes are really sometimes getting out of hand, especially with the crafting table war mm, that's yeah, that going should, on. Should be, that should be resolved. Oh, yeah. At least and, there is a little bit of government. Yeah, a little bit of government intervention to have an official say at everything, don't you think? Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, what do you think? Oh. <laughs> But I what think do you think? Sounds like a good idea. Um, is there I think any... it's a party that sounds like it has a good point in existence. In oh, because of this, yeah. I feel like I need to do my uh, what is it called? My duty by applying as to become the vice president of this party. For this campaign mm. yeah i that's an offer that can be accepted by the result of the legislative government yes it can <laughs> i don't even i didn't even know what you were saying <laughs> yeah i didn't know what he said but you know the you know the speech of churchill when he says like something you can oh hear oh saying. yeah like, the government. Governor of the government. The legislative majority of the government. But do you okay. accept, do you accept this little, um, proposal? This little proposal to join my campaign in yeah, running for really vice president. Because, accept this because it's within my duties to fulfill and make this server a better place. Live in. Well, you're now, I, I think, 
how I see it, is that you are now part of the campaign. So, um, along with the duties of being, uh, as I would say, trying to run for vice president is help uh, spread the word to vote Erio. Vote, um, uh. like to help spread the word. Like maybe you could help figure out like why are people straying away from me in particular, you know? Yeah, and I also think like one of the policies we immediately must enact is we just, well, we don't tell them anything about this in the campaign, but afterwards we introduce high taxes. Hmm. Maybe depending on how much, uh, depending on how, um, how much effort we have to put into fixing up the server, we could definitely might have to raise taxes, but only time will tell, I think. Mm, yeah. Um, but I mean, uh, do you have any general ideas on spreading the word to vote Iria vote, um, this campaign at all? Nothing at all. I <laughs> <laughs> have any, have any what? I, uh, general ideas at all. On well, we're gonna have to have do com we're gonna have to do campaigns. We and have political debates. Um. And then we're just gonna have to have put out, out a lot of posters. We're gonna have to find out the bad Ooh, side posters. of the politic. We're gonna have to find out all the bad things about the oppositional campaigns. Oh yeah, and, spread and then that there's expose them. And oh then, yeah uh, oh yeah that's okay yeah thank you for giving me a bit more insights in because i think this is exactly why i chose you because i mean you basically have a lot of general knowledge based on this and i think yeah. uh yeah especially the campaign posters i could definitely get right on that i think yeah i think so too. so and we're always gonna um, have to or, yeah Oh, for um, I do. I do want to show you something though, real quick. Um, I come downstairs. Um, so you see this little LA right here? Um, yeah. I th oh, oh those red. Oh. Uh, maybe. But you see the little LA right here? Yeah. Uh, this is basically going to be our little, I guess, I guess, c campaign mascot for now. Mm. Yeah. Uh oh, what do you think? I mean, he's yeah. kind of stuck there, but I mean, he would definitely add a bit more extra uh, support. Like, oh yeah, we support LA's, you know. Yeah, I mean, I mm. guess. but yeah, be um, like I guess this is a little bit of a farewell for now. Um, yeah. Uh. Oh. <laughs> okay, but yeah, this is a little bit of farewell. Um, if you get any other ideas, just directly let me know. Um, do not talk about any of the campaign to anybody else. So like, no one should know about this campaign. Or no one know, should know that not you're part of the campaign, but don't, what I say, spread any of the internal information going on within the campaign. Yeah, of course not. That would damage their reputation. reputation. Yes. So, I mean, I will talk to you later. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as you saw there, Brian is agreed upon that he's going to run for vice pres president at, while I'm running for president. So this will at least guarantee at least one vote. Um or, I mean, pretty much guarantee one vote. I mean, if you're voting for me, you're vo voting for Brian as well to be vice president. So this will actually probably help me out in the long run, having a person who understands uh, more on, sh like, sharing uh, the what ideas I provide and what ideas I give to the server because he is real good at either propaganda or whatever. I mean, it's not really propaganda, you know? So, um, yeah. So yeah, um, well, since Brian said something about a poster, I went ahead and took the liberty to make a little poster. Um, so it's in this chest right here. Yeah, right here. Um, it's a car pumpkin, but if, I head over this direction, 
Um, I'm going to be putting a poster right outside this portal. And it's, uh, let's see, right here, I think. Yeah, about right here. So I would go kind of like this, I think, on each end. And then I would probably put something. Uh, and then I would go and put this item frame here. And I put this here. And then also do, and then, yeah. So it's right against the, basically that. And yeah, I think it looks good. So whenever you come out of the portal, you see this right here. And I think it will definitely show a real good amount of like, not my, I guess, I mean, it does show my persona a bit, but I mean, yeah. So I do want to point out, uh, this flag behind here is actually my custom flag as well, which, um, like it's for, like my personal flag It's just to kind of reflect upon like not to reflect upon anything, but it's to show like at least uh, what it shows I'm voting for, whatever. I, I don't exactly know, <laughs> truly, but I mean, it does look good. I mean, yeah, I mean, I did real good at this art. So yeah, um, now I do think I need to go over here and get another set of posters going. So there's uh, some stuff here. So it says, hello, and welcome to the fan art shop. Please take the book and write what you want for your fan art to look like. Each fan art is one stack of diamonds. Please give a few weeks for yada, yada, yada. Uh, delivered via Discord, contact area. Well, that's me. And then uh, please choose set in or staff. Uh, to make your art. Thank you. All that. So I'm going to... It seems like there isn't an ender chest here. So I know that there's an ATM right around here. Uh, right here. Oh. Um, I don't exactly remember what a stack of diamonds is. Uh, that's 63 right there. So I'll just do one extra. So it's seven, eight blocks, basically, of diamonds diamonds so yeah let me go down here and then let me write what i need to do so yeah um i'm not gonna show the exact specifics of what it's gonna look like but i think it, it may take a couple of weeks so um in the meantime i think this should be it for the video i mean yeah i hope you guys like this video if you guys didn't hit the dislike button and I will see you guys in the next video of Fractured or any of those other series that I have. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Bye.